Okay, problem 5-8-A is really two problems nested into one. First, it asks us to just calculate the value of the ending inventory, and they give us these in, this information. And it says the company uses either LIFO or FIFO or weighted average. So, we're told that altogether they had 6,000 units. If you do the math, you come up with 6,000 units, and the total goods available is 109,000, dollars So let's put that in there before we forget it. That's just doing these multiplications. 700 times 18, 17 times 19, and then add them to, adding them together. So altogether we had 600 or 6,000 units, excuse me, and we paid $122,000 for them. Now, it says during the year we sold 4,000 units, so we sold. 4,000 units at $50 per unit. Now keep in mind, as we talked about before, it doesn't really matter what costing method you use. When you're, pe when you're selling the goods, you use that price, and that's the same price for everybody. So we have those units, so we sold $200,000 worth of units, and it doesn't matter if it's LIFO, FIFO, or weighted average. Now, we had 4,000, we sold 4,000, we had 6,000, we have 2,000 in ending inventory. The question is, which 2,000? Under FIFO, it's the newest 2,000. So that's these. So under FIFO, it's 2,000 units times $23. Okay, that's under FIFO. That's the ones that are left. That's the ending inventory. So we have 2,000 units at $22. $22. I wrote 23 Duh. I told you I went to Woodstock. So when we do that math, we come up with, assuming I don't screw it up again, $44,000 is the value of the ending inventory under FIFO. Under LIFO, we have 700 units at $18. Plus, we have another 1,300 units at $19. Remember, this is ending inventory. Because we're calculating ending inventory. We're not trying to count what we can't see. So, under FIFO, 2,000 units of 22 is 44,000. We got that. Under LIFO, we have 700 times 18 and 1,300 times 19, and that works out to be 37,300. So cost of goods sold under FIFO, 44,000. Under LIFO, 37,300, okay, that's the cost of goods sold, I'm not computing the ending inventory, or yeah, I'm computing the ending inventory, that's what I'm computing, that is the ending inventory, and under uh, weighted average, we're going to take 6,000 units divided into one 122, so we have 122,000 
divided by 6,000 and that equals, and we're going to round a little bit, $20.33 per unit. And when we multiply that times the fourth, the 2,000 in ending inventory, because that's what we're worried about, ending inventory, we come up with 40000 660. So that's the ending inventory, 40,660. Now we need to come up with our cost of goods sold, which is the total goods available minus the ending inventory. So when we do that, we come up with cost of goods sold here, 78,000. Cost of goods sold here is 84,700. And cost of goods sold here is 120 minus 4,660. And that comes to 81,340. Our gross profit by definition is cost of goods sold minus or subtracted from sales. So these are the numbers we're going to concern ourselves with. So when we take 78,000 from 200,000, our gross margin, our gross profit is 122,000. When we take 84 from 700, our gross profit is 115,300. And when we subtract 4660 from 200, our gross profit there is 118,660. Now, we all have the same operating expenses because, again, operating expenses are not dependent on whether you use LIFO, FIFO, weighted average, casting events rules, whatever. It doesn't matter. We've got 20,000 operating expenses, so now we have to subtract the operating expenses from the gross margin. And when we do that, we come up with 102,000. And on this, we come up with 95,300. And on this, we come up with 98,660. Simply subtracting these two pairs of numbers. Income tax, as you all well know, because you all pay it, is based on income. So 40% of each of these numbers is the tax. So 40% of 102,000 is 40,800 for some clown in DC to spend. 40% of 953 is 38,120. Notice that under LIFO, you're paying less taxes. You're reporting less income. You're paying less taxes, but you're making the same amount of money. And again, 40% of 98,660 is 39,464. Now for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! What's our net income? 61,200. Under FIFO, LIFO will be less. 57,180. And weighted average is always going to fall somewhere in the middle. And it does indeed 59,196. Now, a couple of things for you to keep in mind. If the costs are going down, and this is part two of the problem, if the costs are going down, instead of having rising prices, 
as we did, you notice the prices are constantly going up. If the prices were going down, everything you know about LIFO and FIFO switches. So LIFO in periods of rising prices gives lowest ending inventory and lowest income under FIFO, highest and highest. If the prices are declining, it's the exact opposite. Okay. The disadvantage of using LIFO is that it's way more complicated. The advantage of using LIFO is that it saves you tax dollars. Problem 58A kind of ties it all together.